Okay, this is a response uh, to a viewer that asked a question uh, given this information and we'll write that down on our two column proof. In fact, this uh, viewer needed to do a two column proof for this situation. It's triangle DGH is an isosceles triangle. It also states that segment DF is congruent to segment DI and that angle FDG is congruent to angle IDH and remember that is our given so we're gonna come up with a <clears throat> excuse me second step here a minute what I have here marked in purple is that segment DF is congruent to segment DI that's in the given and that angle F D G is congruent to angle I D H now we actually have to state why the parts of this isosceles triangle are congruent we just can't mark them congruent we're told that triangle D GH the little triangle in the middle is isosceles what we can mark but we have to prove is that this angle here DGH is congruent to this angle here angle DHG also that side DG or segment DG is congruent to segment DH now we know that that's intuitive from the definition of a an isosceles triangle so that's what needs to be stated that that could be done in one step or two steps we would start this off that side DG is congruent to side or segment DH and that angle DGH is congruent to angle 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 DHG and you could state the definition of an isosceles triangle. So there's the step that a lot of people have a hard time with when you do this proof. Uh, back up here, what we need to try to prove are these triangles on the outside are congruent. That would be triangle F, G, D, and triangle I, H, D. And in fact, if you know anything about triangle congruence you hopefully can see that this is a side angle side relationship a pair of corresponding sides a the included angle and another pair of corresponding sides are congruent in the triangles so we can put down our proof statement at this point that triangle and let me just double check it the order is important FGD is congruent to triangle IHD and that would be by the side angle side theorem so not a real long proof but complicated because a lot of people don't know how to justify why these sides or segments in these angles would be congruent this has been Mr. Plorsky and I surely hoped that this has helped SMG Princess 9. Thanks for watching. Take care.